Before we get started, gotta give a few shout outs. Jody Catapano, Gaming with a Cam, and Ghost Gamer 25. Here's a huge thumbs up that goes out to you. Thank you guys so much for watching Toy Gander. Overwhelmingly, you guys have liked and responded well to the Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame custom minifigure. Uh, Lego, Lego-esque series, and uh, this is probably going to be the final one, at least the final one for a while, because I think I've exhausted all that I can do on all these figures, but this is the last go-around, at least for now, and if you guys, uh, you know, reject that thesis, let me know in the bottom, say, hey, I want uh, number six and seven, but uh, until then, let's start with Big Fig number one. Okay, this is clearly uh, entered into some weird territory. Uh, this is Black Panther within the Quantum Realm suit that they have in Avengers Endgame. And one of the weird things that you might notice is that he's a big fig. And it doesn't necessarily warrant Black Panther being a big fig because he's a relatively small character to scale within the movie. I don't know why this character actually exists. I have no idea, but I can tell you I like it. I like the fact that this uh, they, they kind of went outside the the deal to, to make this. It is a custom mold specifically for the head print. I don't know if it's like a combination between Hulk and Black Panther. I don't care. I, I actually do like it, even if it doesn't make any sense at all. I think what ends up happening is they're trying to really, uh, they realize how popular these figures are, so they're, they're trying to just bank them out at, at any type of character they possibly can get their hands on, and then they start creating characters. But you can see the overall printing is done very well. I like the uh, head mold. I think that's nice. The gold print all throughout this character makes a lot of sense. It actually looks really good, nice and vibrant. Even on the other side, it looks pretty decent. The only uh, objection that I have to this, if you look in the bottom corner right here of the elbow, it's a little bit chipped because what they did is these are actually like a gray tone uh, shoulders, or may, it might even be black, and then they painted white over it. And that doesn't always work out that well, specifically because painting white on black or even a dark gray, uh, you have to go over it several different times in order for it to stick, and clearly it didn't stick throughout the character. There's even some shading issues towards the uh, top of the shoulder blade right there. So, besides that, with that exception, I would say it looks pretty good, though. Uh, did I put... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. They gave me... Two right hands. Well, that's whack. Look at that. I didn't even recognize that until I had to double take. Wow. What a knockoff. Oh, well. Well, I... <laughs> well, uh, okay. So, with the exception of that hand, which kind of makes the whole thing look uh, ridiculous now, I was going to give it a good grade, but uh, this kind of takes it down a peg. That's a C. Boo. Next, mini pig or big pig. Well, this, uh, again, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This is Quantum Realm Suit Spider-Man for Avengers Endgame. And he's got all the spider get-out throughout the whole character. It's all golden and crisp and uh, looks pretty decent. What A uh, couple things that are a little bit interesting on this character is uh, there's a lot more happening versus, like, the Black Panther. And I don't necessarily know why that is. There's a lot of different coloration, a lot of uh, different detail, specifically within the logo of his suit. So that's a little bit different. I'm not saying I'm necessarily complaining because I think it does look good. I do like the fact that he's got like all these different webbings on the elbows, on the face, throughout the torso, and even on the back. I mean, that looks menacing on the back right there. Another thing that's a little bit different, you'll notice this... Uh, these two extra pieces right here, that's not included in pretty much any of the other Big Fig Avenger Endgame LEGO figures. What uh, What's interesting is they chose to add them here, and I don't know, maybe they're going for the Iron Spider, which could wrap around the body and kind of uh, grasp onto things, but it wasn't included into this set. So that's a little bit disappointing. No articulation point on the head, just like the Black Panther. Sometimes with the Hulk versions of it, you do get that articulation, which is kind of nice to have, but... Uh, i say it still looks pretty decent. Um, the only other thing that is plaguing this one, actually it's not that bad, is uh, the fact that there's a little bit of a scuff mark right there, which doesn't make sense. Actually, I think that's a paint splatter from something else. So if I 
probably scratch it enough, it should go away because this whole thing is solid white and uh, it doesn't make sense that there would be actual uh, a scuff on here because there would be no reason to paint it a different color. Um, so maybe I'll try and get that off. But besides that, uh, another bonus point, hey, he doesn't have two right hands on that. So uh, that's a win. Yeah, this one I'd probably get a, a B plus. I think it's pretty good. Next figure. If you've seen Avengers Endgame, then you know Thor uh, put on a few pounds because he was sulking over the fact that he didn't defeat Thanos. And this is that version of Thor. This is the slob of Thor, or the big Lebowski version of Thor. And you can clearly see that his gut extends out, even though it is a minifigure. They've done a nice job of translating that into Lego form. Uh, the overall character is kind of uh, depressing and disappointing, but I think they did it well for what they were trying to accomplish. The overall design and print is very crisp, looks really good. He's got the grandma sweater throughout the back. It's actually 360 degree printing. Even on the pants, you got the printing on the back of the pants, which is highly detailed, which is also kind of surprising. And uh, the overall character looks pretty much exactly like him, exactly as you would expect. He has the Coca-Cola can in one hand, and uh, everyone knows that Coca-Cola will make you large and I don't think in charge. But um, this is Fat Thor. Big thing of figure number four. This is a large big fig Iron Man with the Infinity Gauntlet or Nano Gauntlet, whatever you want to call it. And uh, one of the things that was actually pointed out, I did a similar figure uh, maybe two, two videos ago. And uh, one thing that was pointed out by Ghost Gamer 25 is they actually have it on the left hand, and everyone knows that the Infinity Gauntlet goes on the right hand. So uh, that's kind of disappointing, but with that exception, I will say this is actually pretty good. It's a good overall design, very crisp, very clean, and just like the other ones, I like the fact that this mask flips up and you can see Tony Stark's face. I do know that I did put all the Infinity Stones incorrectly. This is one of the challenges for this series. Let me know which order this goes in, and uh, I will give a shout-out to the top three subscribers. So tell me which order the Infinity Stones go based on the finger, and uh, again, I will give the shout-out to the top three subscribers. But the overall design on this I think is very well. I do like this. I like the back. I like the uh, crispness of the whole thing. I, I would say the only thing I would maybe include is they have a really nice shiny metal metallic paint for the mask, but it falls a little bit flat on the torso here. Maybe just tying that same paint in there would make it really pop and look good, but besides that, I think the overall design is good. Next figure. Upon first glance, you might actually look at this and say, hey, that's the exact same figure. But if I put them side by side, you'll clearly see there is a difference. And uh, obviously that this one is a lot more bulked out, has a lot more detail, at least within the mold, not necessarily the paint. But uh, this is done by a different company. I actually don't know which company did this. I will say looking at the overall design, it's done very well. I do like the look to it. It is slightly teetering towards Happy Meal toy design just because once you go a little bit too far out of the Lego realm, it doesn't look official enough to really give it credit, but I, I think it's still there. It's still really close to there. Again, this is like the Hulkbuster version of it because it's a big fig. Some little, little bit of design flaws, specifically in the back uh, with the painting, but not much to really notice. The overall design in the printing is very crisp and looks... Uh, it's very contrasty as well. So I like this the I'd say my biggest complaint and again I'm a picky one as you guys know you open up the mask He kind of looks like uh, Fat Tony, you know, he's got that fat Tony double chin on him and I just like this look so much better it just uh, kind of shrinks it down, gives it a little bit more of a believable look on this one right here versus this. So with that being the only exception, you know, you keep the mask closed and I think it looks really good just like that. But um, 
Yeah, I would say probably maybe a B, B, B minus or something on the overall design. It looks uh, decent though. Next figure. This is another design that is very similar to one that I've already done. And uh, I want to call this one the Big Head Thanos. And clearly with the helmet that he has on there, he just has a giant noggin. And not necessarily that it looks horrible, but I think the proportions are a little bit off. I do like this one a little bit better because it has a gold paint than with the previous Thanos that I did just like this. It had more of like a matte finish to it. So this one does look better. And he also has that... Uh, you know, grimace on his face. He's looking extra stressed out. Uh, he has golden eyes. I don't know if that necessarily makes sense, but it's believable, at least within this Lego form. The other thing to this one is he has the nano gauntlet on his arm, or the infinity gauntlet. It's on his arm. And uh, this one actually sticks to where the other one didn't stick and it just fell, fell out every time. Uh, same thing to note. I don't know if it's just all these companies that are making these are uh, just looking at it in the wrong direction. But this is again on the wrong hand. And it's a kind of a shame to see because I think it overall design kind of fits it. This uh, probably would look a little bit better on a Hellboy or Hellboy uh, type char um, comic character. But uh, I, I think it's believable enough to say, okay, maybe uh, Lego would make something similar to this. Uh, and then the overall design throughout the torso is done very nicely. Very bright, very vibrant. Even if I take off the head, take off the um, shoulder piece, you could see all the fine details throughout this character. They kept the gray up top here, and that makes sense because it's only it's covered by this cowl anyway. But uh, this one, it's okay. I, I wouldn't say it's the best. Just the overall design, I'm not a huge fan of, so I'd probably say a C plus on this. Next figure. I bought this figure I thought this was a different version of Korg than the one I've already reviewed and it's not it turns out it's the exact same which is kind of good because I think the overall design is still really good this one you know what it does show is that the quality at least within this figure it is pretty consistent this one does still look really good the overall printing design is very crisp very neat the only thing I think it's a little bit sloppy with the bandolier choices I think it kind of goes off a little bit into nowhere in the upper left hand corner or right hand corner technically on there but uh, with the exception of that I think it's actually done very well I like the fact that he's a big figure I like the fact that Lego doesn't make it and they tried to fill in the gap where Lego doesn't make it. and they already used a previous mold this is off for one of the Avengers um, Infinity War characters I, he starts with an I whatever his name is he's um, like one of the sons of Thanos but um, they use that mold to create him and it makes sense I think it actually looks really good and I like the overall design choices for the shoulders specifically. So, two thumbs up. All right, guys, it is that time of the video. I have an Infinity Gauntlet right here, and one of the top comments you guys always have is you say, Toy Gander, you put the wrong stones in the wrong finger holes. Um, so here's the challenge out to you guys. Let me know which stones go into which one of the finger holes. Put it in the comments down below, and I will pick the top three subscribers and give you guys a shout out in the next video I do. Guys, that's what I have for today. I want to thank you so much for liking, subscribing. I really do appreciate all the support that you guys give. And until next time, you can help us take a gander.